Yes, good afternoon. It's that favorite time of the day once again. Welcome to Satoshi's Bitcoin Chart Show. This is the Bitcoin forecast, the strength of the system, the health of the network, where we find out what's up with what is going down. Today's day is Friday, the 9th of December, 2022. Without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Buy BSV.live, the best place to buy Bitcoin SV online, the original protocol and genuine Bitcoin. Here we go, rock and roll, looking forward to this, haven't seen these figures yet. So we're going to have a good old goosey gander at them, here we go. So we've got CoreCoin BTC, Segwit protocol with a fundamental value of precisely absolute zero, with a speculative price of currently 17,191. Ooh, that's going to hurt. Uh, hash rate, honestly, who cares? Um, B crash, uh, what a joke. Fisher price cash, who cares about that as well, really? And then we've got Bitcoin. The original protocol goes right the way back to the Genesis block. It hasn't changed, making it the real Bitcoin, the true Bitcoin, the genuine Bitcoin. And the world's first and only ever digital commodity, backed by the value of data sovereignty, making it the most valuable commodity on earth because it's an extension of our own personal freedoms and liberties. So let's have a look at this then. So we've got hash rate 0.26, network knows 0.44. Uh, let's have a quick look at the hash rate. Is this the one? No. There we go. That's the hash rate. Uh, all right. So that's going up a little bit. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take that. We will take that. Absolutely, we will. Uh, transactions 83.1 uh, that's on the uh, Bitcoin network that's gone down a little bit that was at 90s the other day let's have a look at where we're oh no uh, transactions just gone off again where we are so XRP 26.1 Ethereum 35.4 oh good I haven't seen uh, I haven't actually seen Bitcoin being beaten for a long time for a long time uh let's just hope that some of the applications are just testing out new features on that one breaks my heart when i see that i'm like oh come on come on uh never mind never mind uh block size though still the data on there so 93.94 all right let's have a look at the data flowing through the chain then uh we is it worth going i haven't seen any gigabyte blocks so uh, single figure megabyte blocks here, small blocks in comparison to what we used to, uh, 269 megabytes is the largest block in this column, yeah, and we're disappointed with that. <laughs> uh, even though BTC, uh, I've, I've never seen a block over 2 megabytes, um, again, B crash, honestly, struggling to get all the blocks over a megabyte, and uh, Fisher Price Cast struggling to get all of their blocks over a kilobyte, let alone anywhere near a megabyte. What an absolute joke shop. All right, let's get into these charts then. Just close that a little bit. There we go. It's going to change any second. Any second, any second now, any second. Come on, there we go. That's, there, that's what we do. Hash rate, so for, say it with me for anybody who doesn't know it. Hash rate follows price, follows value, follows utility, follows creativity, initiative, and intelligence. If you are intelligent and you apply creativity and initiative, you can make something useful. When something is useful, it can then create value. When it creates a value, it can then develop a price. When it develops a price, it can then be measured against the cost of other goods and services and used as a medium of exchange. Boom. Next. Proof of work by network again, it's all coming over to Bitcoin because these other chains are utterly worthless pieces of garbage. Security offerings, it's a joke they're even on there. Uh, it's currently 34,601 times cheaper to transact on Bitcoin than CoreCoin. And it's currently, oh, what, 1.8% more profitable to mine on BTC. You know, here, the, mind you, those figures change on an hourly basis. Uh, daily average Bitcoin block size by network, still Bitcoin absolutely smashing it, although we've had the transactions came down here on the 18th of October. Uh, but still, this is a log curve. If this was a linear curve, this would be like way off the charts. I mean, look at that. One megabyte to 10 megabytes. And uh, crikey, went up to 1,000 megabytes. Good agree, yeah. Huge, so that's block size. Daily average Bitcoin transactions by network. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's just dipped there. Uh, transactions per block by network, yep, just dipped. Uh, fees uh, on the network, fees USD, uh, so it's like cost per transaction. Fees Satoshi's again, it's just cropped up a little bit, but it's still way below these other uh, alternative protocols. 
Uh, daily Bitcoin fee to block reward ratio. So again, uh, we'll be looking at this over time. So I guess this because the fees of um, the volume of transactions are going down. So the, the cost per transaction uh, gets cheaper as more and more people use it. So uh, really, we're expecting that line to go heading up. But it's just been heading down just a little bit recently, uh, just because there hasn't been the same volume of transactions are, that there were on the network prior to uh, beginning of October. But yeah, we'll have a look at the applications as we go through the charts here. Daily accumulated Bitcoin blockchain growth by network. Oh yeah, so look, it's um, it's topped off a little bit. I mean, this growth was massive, absolutely massive. Uh, let's just have a quick look at this then. I'll have a look at block sizes while we're here as well. There we go. Woo. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of table top to there. Um, yeah, we'll have to keep an eye on what's going on. That's all right. Uh, global hash rate, seven days. Uh, Hathor was back on there um, with a not enough uh, mining percentage to actually be listed as a number, so it must be small. Global hash rate, uh, 24 hours, all chains. Uh, BTC, so yeah, Foundry USA pool, 25%. So that's uh, MasterCard just mining BTC for no other reason other than uh, I suspect they probably want to front run the collapse of it when it happens uh, just to uh, try and get as much value out of the market as possible. Uh, latest Bitcoin cash blocks. Again, look at this, you know, all the gear and no idea. Um, and uh, again, oh, look, 44.4% are the miners. Um, other miners will have absolutely no mercy to these people on uh, B Crash uh, because they don't even have the excuse that they've been hoodwinked by the name. They are they are literally stabbing Satoshi's idea in the back intentionally. It's outrageous. Uh, so this is Fisher Price Cash. Oh, Zulu pool fancying it. What a joke. And then we've got Bitcoin. So uh, Tal again. Now we do know that. Uh, um, Calvin owns all of Tal, so he's basically getting uh, 63% of all the uh, of all the Bitcoin being mined uh, on the network. I mean, it's a huge amount of money, my goodness me. And like I said, I suspect they're squeezing the supplies coming onto the network, which is why um, Bitfinex is reducing uh, is uh, closing margin trading and uh, and BSV funding on now the 19th of uh, of December. So we'll we'll see what happens there. But there we go, that's coin dance out of the way. Yeah, we've already looked at actually, is it worth a bit info charts? Um, let's have a look at some of the uh, honestly, seriously, it uh, hurts my eyes looking at all this crap. Um, uh, there we go. I don't want that on there either. What a joke! So, transactions last 24 hours. So, Bitcoin has had 1.2 million. Uh, oh, Ethereum's had 1.6 million. Uh, it's buy to buy, really. Um, yeah. All right then. Uh, so difficulty on BTC. Ah, uh, so that's that's actually just uh, come down a bit there, but it's been going up since uh, July 2021, making it less and less attractive for miners to mine. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Would you believe it? So these are the short positions on Bitfinex. Of BSV, look at that! Absolutely tumbling, 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 tumbling. It'll be interesting, interesting to see what the price does. So now, just a well, short ratio of eighty percent. I mean, it should. Yeah, this is the genuine Bitcoin. Uh, just because it's had a change of ticker symbol through social engineering, people think that it's uh, it's it's not Bitcoin. Honestly, it just doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure it out. But good to see those short positions coming down. Uh, I'm sure they'll be having effects uh, in the market. Uh, this is CoreCoin BTC Segwit Protocol. What's happening here with the uh, position? So short ratio, just 6.5. Honestly, a Segwit Protocol, which makes it a securitized system. <clears throat> short ratio, 6.5. That should be 100% because it's got no economic value whatsoever. Uh, so for anybody who hasn't seen mining operations before, these are they, is the backbone to the new global financial system. The world's first ever commercial internet. Blows my mind every time. Let's have a look at coin carbon cap then. Here we go. So it looks like with the absolute transactions per megawatt hour, 
Uh, Bitcoin storming away, even though I have seen this as high as like 300. Um, there is currently 3,000, uh, sorry, 300,000, but there's currently 3,165 transactions per megawatt hour. In terms of efficiency, in comparison to Bcrash, that's just got 29, and then uh, CoreCoin just 1.4. Honestly, what a joke, what a joke. Right, let's have a look at this then. So this is protocols, data size, Metro ID producing 1.5 gigabytes of data over a 24-hour period. Um, that was up in, I've seen that well over, I've seen that over 10 before. Uh, run protocol producing 30,420 transactions over the last 24 hours. Let's look at applications. Uh, my two cents, look at that, my two cents. With uh, 1 million, 21,042. Uh, so that's adding the majority of the transactions on at uh, the moment. I might have to look into that. I just haven't had the time to use it, really. Uh, you know, might have to give it the time of day. Uh, Senti Hash, 33,061. Relasia, 21,000. Peer Games, 8,469. Crypto Fights, 8,208. I mean, that was in the millions as well previously, Crypto Fights. Uh, I wonder what is going on there. DXS up 2,457. Twitch 5,546. Um, output volume though, uh, that's $123,000. Mm. I just can't see that really over a 24 hour period. Um, uh, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But. Uh, by far the healthiest network out there. The only way to commoditize data. It's the only, it's the only hope we've got. All well, those shit coins are literally just security offerings. Uh, crypto quant. Let's have a look at this. Oh, look. Oof. There's been a, a steep decline there uh, with exchanges cashing out. Look at all exchanges reserves. Look at that. Tr trying to escape as much as they can. Uh, wow. Phenomenal. You know, just follow the big bag holders. Uh, what's on chain? Good question. So we have had, yeah, 1.3 million transactions over the last 24 hours. Um, memory pool currently got uh, 6.4 gigabytes in there. And oh, the uh, the whale wallet has moved. It's moved. This uh, this did used to have uh, 900 and 907,000 BSV in there. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, yeah, so we can... Oh, so there's uh, 238,503 uh, BSV moved. Uh, so we can... Uh, I wonder if it's gone to... We'll have a look at the wallet addresses. I wonder if it's been uh, dispersed. Look, 28,999, 27,000. Uh, what, what date was this on? Um... Uh, 23rd, 23rd, oh, 23rd, 18, 18, 18th, 18th, lots of movements, uh, so whoever it was, <laughs> might have seen I've been following the wallet, oh my goodness me, well, at least, see, at least they, at least they are now, uh, diversifying it, uh, you know, rather than having it in a single wallet, um, yeah, wow. Uh, it was, it was, it was great looking at it while it was there. So that started started on the eighteenth of November. Mm. Still, you know, it was great looking at it every time. Uh, every time we saw the whale topping up with another thousand Bitcoin, it was just like, woof, phenomenal, phenomenal. Uh, morning run, ah. Oh. Uh, Joshua adding like a uh, um, little articles here. Oh, uh, sponsorship and stuff. All right, very good, very good. Markets. Can we expand that? Does that link anywhere? Uh, no, no, that's all right. Uh, live coin watch then let's have a look at this so we've kind of got a market cap of uh, 865 billion dollars uh, that's dropped substantially uh, we've got BTC here Mar Oof, market cap 
I remember BTC uh, when it was seventy thousand dollars hit a market cap of uh, uh, almost a trillion dollars itself. And look at that; it's dropped by uh, almost uh, almost seventy percent um, since since the highs. Be interesting to see what's interesting to see how it goes in the long term. Well, watch its demise effectively. <laughs> Uh, Bitcoin forty three dollars. Oh, wow! Look at that. Yeah, that was a that was a price increase there, and it's uh, looking quite positive today as well. Very good. Uh, so wow, still still in the green coming in. So uh, one point two million dollars worth of bids versus four hundred six thousand uh, worth of uh, asks, which are uh, potential sellers. Interesting. Let's have a look at a coin desk. How are we look in here? Uh, so we've had a oof, like a high there of uh, forty six dollars and forty six cents. It's crazy that you can still pick up Bitcoin uh, for those prices. Yeah. So up on up on the week, up on the month. Well, so anybody who's been buying. Since uh, I think that low, I think it actually hit like thirty-four dollars ninety. That's crazy low, but registered here at thirty-five dollars and two cents. So uh, anybody who's been buying since the 9th of November, uh, so long as you didn't buy the uh, peaks there, um, it's do doing well, doing very well. Coin Gecko currently registering a price of forty-four dollars. What's this? Just had another price spike. How are we feeling about it today? Feeling good, 88%. We'll take that any day. Tether weather. Let's have a quick look at this. Uh, price relatively stable. Market cap's more interesting. Oh, look, would you believe it? We've had another pump taking us from a market cap of uh, 65.69 billion up to 65.72 billion. So that's just gone up. Uh, three million. Um, no, one million. Uh, three hundred, three hundred thousand, three million. No, it can't be three million. Three hundred million is what they've pumped in there. So have a look over seven days. Oh, whoa! Look at that. Whoa! They have been defending the price. They've been defending it. Uh, so it went from a market cap of 65.37 to 65.7. So 65.37, 65.7. Okay, yeah, so that's 4 million. That's 4 million. All right. Let's have a look. Oh, come on, really? Um... Yeah, not really a fan of that one, uh, Bitrex. Let's have a look at this one then. I'll do this over uh, 15 minutes. No, doesn't look all that good really there. One hour candles, three hours. Whoa, we had a huge price, uh, spike in the price there. Uh, all right. Let's have a look at this then. So this is a cool coin. So yeah, that would be... Um, a tether print. Uh, seven days. Oof. It's not as steady as the tether printing, though, is it? Upsy downsies. Uh, the market being shaken. So uh, tether propping it up. It's outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. Uh, and this is Bitcoin. Oh, USD. Trending sideways there. Candles over seven days. One month. Three months. Mm. Let's have a look at uh, Coinbase down uh, 87%. Oh, you know, we knew what was going on. A massive rug pull. I still can't. Well, I knew what they were doing. You know, other people obviously couldn't see it. That's why they bought in MicroStrategy down 65% uh, year to date. Just speculators in the market wouldn't touch that with a barge pole. Um, Silverfish currently with 17,758 views. 
So just uh, 242 views off of 18,000. That would be pretty good. Uh, farmers Food Supply and Money got 874 views. Very good. Uh, that is a 20-minute show. We'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed it. As ever, be aware. Take care. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you in the next one.